Hey Virgo, what's up? Happy New Year. Welcome to your January reading. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you. And if this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And yeah, with that being said, Virgo, let's get right into your reading for the month of January. See what's going on, what you need to know or be aware of. For the month ahead what's going on for virgo sun moon rising venus we have the fish coming out what's going on for virgo in january 2023 messages for virgo summer rising venus january 2023 we got cosmic egg coming out along with the zebra okay okay and wow that like knocked some of my, my crystals over a little bit so virgo right now slash beginning of january you might be feeling a little bit lost a little bit unsure about the direction that you're going down or just kind of feeling like where did time go how are we already in the new year where did what the hell happened these last few months all of a sudden like boom it just went by like the blink of an eye um so you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed with you know, it just being a new year and just feeling like, you know, there's a lot on your plate and that there's a lot that you want to do and you just, you know, there's a lot on your mind that you're trying to just juggle and right now it's kind of hard to stay grounded and stay in the present because your mind is elsewhere. Your mind is bringing up things from your past. You're also thinking far along ahead into the future and you're, it's just, it's overwhelming and it's a lot and you might even be feeling like, really just like your emotions could be flip-flopping around or just like just really sensitive um maybe you got some strong moon placements cancer placements in your chart <laughs> just because of this lunar energy right so it's like maybe you're kind of feeling um just things really deeply or just feeling way more sensitive um with your emotions and even towards other people in january so just try to take it easy on yourself um the advice of the fish is just try to like ground yourself and try your best not to resist some of these changes that are occurring don't go against the current go with the current go with the flow as difficult as it might be especially when things may not may not play out where you know like plans get canceled or there's delays or things get pushed back or you know setbacks is and we are we're now in mercury retrograde mercury is your ruler right virgo so you will be feeling it but you'll hang in there it happens all the time like it's no big deal but you might just be feeling a little bit of this influence okay um good news is that with cosmic egg coming out spirit energy there is some sort of completion of a cycle of like a, a confusing time i want to say a confusing time is coming to an end um this is going to be a time this month for you where you're going to be getting a lot of clarity on situations and with the zebra this represents freedom so you're going to be free from confusing situations or confusing emotions or a situation that just has been really Ugh, just a whirlwind that's just been like tossing around and you haven't been sure about like how things are going to play out or just like you know as i'm talking all of a sudden my throat's feeling like really tight like as if you know like you get like choked up like for some reason my throat's feeling like choked up <laughs> like i don't know if you got something to say virgo or a situation's got you choked up um but i'm like picking up on that energy like y'all what's up with that <laughs> um but the, yeah like i said the good news is like there's um you're moving away from a really like confusing or difficult time or period in your life and heading into january and moving forwards into 2023 is going to be really good for you for travel for expansion for higher knowledge learning new things meeting new people um really just like being wild and free and relieving yourself from any any stresses any worries any things that have been really just weighing you down it feels like you're really just kind of stripping that off and you're just like you feel a lot lighter it's really positive and the energy of the zebra this is a very like creative energy very visionary very expressive and it just this is a great vibe to be in so that's a good push that's a good shift right things are turning around for you in january where you go from more of like oh i don't know where i'm doing i don't know where i'm going i don't know what I, what's going on with life to i got this figured out being like confused and intimidated about not knowing what's gonna happen to oh my god this is exciting it's an adventure i'm gonna have fun i'm gonna embrace it 
right? So that's a complete change and transformation within like the mindset and how you're feeling in January. So that's great. Um, let's pull the tarot. Let's get into this. Let's see what's happening for you. For Virgo, what's going on for Virgo in January 2023? Show me clearly. What do they need to know? Okay, insight was some guidance for Virgo. Show me clearly, please. Your intuition is definitely being highlighted here with the fish and the zebra, third eye, and then like the like the moon. So really make sure that you're paying attention to your intuition. That might be important um, or might, you know, play an important role somewhere in January. So maybe your intuition is being tested or something like that. Let's just keep it going, though. Let's see what's going on for Virgo in January 2023. What's going on for Virgo in January 2023? We have the King of Cups. What did I say? Listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart. Queen of Cups. We got a perfect pair. What's going on for Virgo in January 2023? We have the Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Five of Wands, Empress, Eight of Cups, and Justice, and the Fool. Ooh, wow. Okay, Aries Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus. Those are the main zodiacs. Then we have water. Lots of water showing up in this reading. Um, it appears that in January, you could be leaving some situation behind. You're making a decision that's going to be best for you. I really see that this decision... We, we had the two of swords um, underneath all these cards at the bottom of the deck. All right, so you made some sort of decision either recently or in January. You're making a decision to put yourself first. And by you putting yourself first, you're feeling this is that zebra energy, that fool with the zebra. This is about you really just like feeling free at last and able to move on with your life after such like challenging events. Oops, wrong card. Challenging events, challenging times where you were just dealing with conflict, with drama, with arguing, with just <sighs> just a constant battle with people, with yourself, with circumstances. Um, like just can you have a break right can I catch a break here you go these challenges that you had gone through in the previous months previous year has prepared you for what this new chapter is about all right so you've been prepared you've gone through the learning curves you've learned all you need to you learn your lessons and you've gone through a lot of personal growth and development and now this is going to be january is a month where you are able to leave that in the past and step into this new chapter of your life where you just feel more at peace where you are able to really just call in and attract the things that you want for yourself and there's no blocks and there's no delays and there's no self-sabotage or other people getting in the way of you know your path and your your plans and all that like it, it just feels like you've cleared out a lot of blocks and a lot of baggage honestly um you have really stepped in to your confidence or you are stepping into your confidence um even more in january at this nine of pentacles independent uh you know yourself you know your worth you know your value you're not second guessing that you're not sacrificing uh you know yourself for the bare minimum or little breadcrumbs none of that like you really have just you've learned a lot these last months years a long time but especially just like the last recent while you've gone through a lot and there's no going back from that. There's no going back from that. And I see that there's like really quick or sudden changes that are around the corner in January. We will take a look into this Knight of Swords and see what these changes are. But this is very quickly. So things are changing for you very, very fast. I also feel like in relation to this new beginning here with the Empress and the Fool, this is like... I think this is what's what this change is about. It's like it's a very quick shift or like you're changing gears or it's just like, you know, you're on the highway, driving on this highway for a long ass time, hours and hours. And then finally, here's your turn. You get off and you're now 
almost at like the destination or like you know that's kind of that image that just comes to mind so it's like it feels like you're finally like you're almost there so don't give up and by the way we do have two nines out here so maybe nines you're seeing a bunch of nines keep your eyes peeled for like seeing that number um but nine is like that final push that final <sighs> almost there right you're so freaking close virgo to leaving this all behind so just keep it going don't quit don't give up because you're doing amazing and this is tying into some sort of karmic cycle that's reaching completion you've learned your lesson you're solidifying that you're showing what you know there might be little tests that come up in january to see if you are truly ready for the next level but that'll be easy you're gonna pass it with flying colors and i wouldn't be too concerned about that um let's see what else is going on here you're just leaving behind situations that don't bring peace to your life relationships that don't bring peace to your life you're really just letting that shit go letting go of the things that just aren't fair or equal to you let's see so what's interesting king of cups to the queen of cups so i do see that there's something about a relationship being brought up or it's it's gonna there's a important connection that's gonna be playing a role in january could be connecting with a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio um but i, I do like the that this pair is out but i need more information to, to talk about this to be honest um maybe some of you are calling in your soulmate for my singles out there um right nine of cups nine of pentacles this is very independent energy so for some you have someone coming in very quickly who is of equal like not status but just like equal like they're equal to you like where you're at in your journey this person's on like the same level of maturity or very close or just like similar similar paths that you guys are on you'll be able to relate to one another and understand each other and just kind of be like two puzzle pieces that just click you know so we'll definitely take a look into whatever this connection is for some this is romance for some it's just like a, a really good friend um could be both right hmm yes all right so let's do some clarifying let's see what deck should i clarify with first of all what am i clarifying here um <laughs> i'm like okay let's look into that knight of swords see what this kind of quick abrupt changes and i think i'm gonna just use this deck my og knight of swords for virgo what is this knight of swords about what's this quick change quick sh quick shift um for virgo tell me about this knight of swords for virgo in january 2023 knight of swords please for virgo five okay look five of cups nine of swords reverse four of pentacles reverse and the king of swords so this is you moving on this is that fish energy where you've been felt you know feeling lost in the current not sure what direction you're going down a lot on your mind feeling just like kind of pushed around and you know things happening outside of your control and you really need to having to surrender and um let go of control and how that's been probably really uncomfortable or scary or overwhelming just bringing up a bunch of uncomfortable feelings um some of you you went through some sort of loss here loss in a relationship loss of a job just loss of yourself really just not feeling like yourself experiencing a lot of stress a lot of anxiety a lot of pressure and just struggling you're coming out of that that nine of swords reverse you're coming out and you're seeing through a lot of negativity um you now see the way or you now see the light or you now know like how you're moving forwards you're making some sort of sudden change and this change is requiring you to let go four pentacles reverse so this is letting go of like the things that you went through or letting go of like a person or letting go of the sadness or this is about you cleansing and purifying purging releasing feeling like just getting it out of your system um and also detaching there's the energy here with the king of swords that's aquarius energy so now that we're in we're in capricorn season but heading into aquarius season so that's the second half of january you may really find yourself detaching from situations people 
outcomes that you had hoped for it's like you're detaching from that and you're finding it a lot easier to just move on whereas in the past you may have really struggled with it second half of december no oh, not december sorry second half of january y'all um you're gonna be finding yourself like whoa like i'm not even thinking about this person this situation this thing anymore it's not even on my mind like holy fuck i'm mastering this like i'm really getting over this i'm really like moving on from something i thought i was never gonna get over like and that's a big deal so that's great that's good so it seems like you're moving on quite quickly or very fast it's just like your focus is elsewhere let's look into this new beginning let's look into this fool and the empress see what this new beginning is kind of like oh look y'all <laughs> okay bottom of the deck we have the sun so you're a lot happier oh seven of cups underneath that and the nine of pentacles you've gotten clarity mm -hmm. you're a lot happier you've gotten clarity you see a situation for what it is you see a person for what it is you set you now understand you now see things clearly and you're just about the future okay so empress and the fool let's look into the new beginning for um virgo in january talk about the empress and the fool for virgo somewhere nice and in january what's going on for virgo be mindful of pregnancies or something about pregnancies or giving birth is being brought up here right in this card in the fool there's like a baby growing so that might be relevant for some of you and even the empress right motherhood so there could be something about motherhood that's being brought up here um congrats if that's you if that resonates talk the empress and the fool for virgo oh oh okay uh we got a stack ten of wands empress reversed death whoa seven of swords whoa the chariot okay i normally don't take big stacks like this but we're gonna go with it so first of all that ten of wands this is you currently slash beginning of january where just again that fish energy that fish vibes where it's just been feeling so much you've been feeling really stressed and overwhelmed you've been having a hard time moving forwards there's been some resistance to change holding on to situations you know aren't good for you or holding on to something you like imagine like a plant this is literally me a plant that's dying like it's dying it's not coming back and you're still watering it even though it's literally not gonna come back like the plant is freaking dead like there's no saving this plant it's doomed it's done you might as well just throw it out but it's like you've been like no but i have to i feel like i have to fix this or i feel like i have to stick around and just see maybe there's still hope no nah, death it's time to let it go time to move on with your life this is just it's it's time it's time it's time to get a plan it's time to get the ball rolling it's time to get things in motion seven of swords and the chariot it's time to take things serious especially some of you are thinking about moving or traveling there's something about travel or moving that's been coming up a couple times in this reading because the zebra also talks about travel um could be short distance more but this this card does talk about more like um full-on adventure like traveling even like internationally or a different country or just like a completely new place that you haven't gone to before so spirit is really wanting you to go explore and see new places in january okay go go do that if you can if you have the opportunity to um even if you can't just go to like a new restaurant or like go walk somewhere new or just like go in a different area like just go see some new shit talk to new people that kind of vibe um but yeah this is about you getting a plan in motion about what you're doing what action you need to take and where you're moving towards about this new beginning okay so everyone's new beginning is going to be different based off what you want for yourself but you got to get a plan in motion and also i would suggest with that seven of swords kind of keep it on the down low kind of move in silence you don't need to announce everything to everybody in this entire world just kind of keep it quiet until it's concrete right <sighs> okay let's look into this connection let's look into this king of cups queen of cups um yeah all right let's look into i'm gonna break it down i'm gonna look into this king of cups see who this is and then we'll look into the king of cups i'll i'll explain who's who or like you decide who's who but let me just clarify who who's this king of cups here what who is this king of cups in january for virgo <clears throat> there's more like a feminine energy there's more of a masculine energy so let's see tell this king of cups for virgo 
in January 2022. Show me clearly. How about this King of Cups? Okay, whoa. Queen of Wands with the Eight of Wands. It's way too many. There we go. The Sun. This person may have strong fire placements. That's too many. That's a big stack. I'm not taking that. Talk about this King of Cups. Eight of Cups. Strength Reverse, Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Swords Reverse. I think that this King of Cups is you, Virgo. This is this King of Cups is some this is a person who had walked away. So this is your energy. So this King of Cups is you. Okay. Good to know. Thank you, Spirit. So yeah, this King of Cups, you, Virgo, you had to walk away from something. You poured a lot of love, attention, energy, time, money, effort. You've you've really you've put in a whole lot of energy towards probably a relationship, right? Um, you had to walk away from that. You made a decision, it wasn't good for you, you decided to detach, let that go why because you are happier without it in your life right simple simply put you're happier you feel more at peace you know that's the right thing for you although it's hard and it's difficult and it's emotional you know in the long term you're better off and you've gotten clarity on this situation so eight of wands you're moving away this again travel movement moving some of y'all are moving again this is now the third time this come out in a different card um this is also indicating like messages to messages i'm getting congested all of a sudden y'all <clears throat> get the fuck out like <laughs> where is this coming from oh my god anyways this can also represent some sort of message that's coming in um but yeah like i i also just feel um you are just being hit with a lot of like realizations about your life and your future and what you want for yourself and you're just getting really inspired and really um excited about living life to the fullest you know not to sound cheesy or anything but you're realizing like i can't just like sit around and wait and just like waste my life away um wishing things were different or waiting for someone to come back or you know begging someone for bare minimum i gotta move on with my life and i got a i got a life to live i got things i want to do and um yeah so okay let's look into this queen of cups who's this queen of cups <laughs> for virgo in january 2023 tell me about this queen of cups queen of cups for virgo in january 2023 who's this queen of cups okay wow, that did not want to shuffle so it's ready all right time this queen of cups wheel of fortune and temperance could be dealing with a saggy. Tell me this Queen of Cups for Virgo. Judgment reversed. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Whoa! Nine, 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 nine. So we now have four nines in this reading. We have the Lovers. Six of Cups reversed. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups okay um i feel like this queen of cups is more representing more of you so honestly with this king of cups queen of cups because i was like is this you and another person or is this just representing you i'm honestly feeling like it's just representing you virgo um this masculine side versus your feminine side you are really like mastering your your emotions you're mastering your emotional side as well as like your logical side like you're you're really just it seems like you're really balanced. The fact that temperance has come out, so like that's kind of a clear indication here that your masculine feminine energies, right? We all carry masculine feminine energies. I don't care what you identify as. We all carry masculine energy, feminine energy. You really are mastering your emotions and you're really just way more balanced. You are so much more balanced than at the beginning of the month or right now when you're listening right with that fish where you're like oh i'm feeling all over the place i'm feeling like a hot mess that you're not gonna feel like that much longer like it really seems like you're getting your shit together and you're feeling just at peace and you're feeling just like you're able to move on with your life and judgment reverse you're not interested in any second chances or repeating the past you've learned your lesson like that's it that's done it's final 
the way you view someone, and honestly, you're just working towards securing a really abundant future for yourself and anyone who is a part of that future nine of wands nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles you're you're really determined here with the nine of wands nine of pentacles you're hella determined to have this stable life have enough money be able to provide for your family your friends be able to take care of the people that you love um really just feeling supported and at ease and again there's something about home or travel or moving again y'all <laughs> some of you it's like you're some of you it's like you're really determined like if you're renting it's like you're determined to own your own home or like you know um just like making certain investments in yourself in your life and that's your main focus that's like your main goal and you're just focused on having more peace and leaving the past in the past um bottom of the deck with the lovers here with the six of cups reverse the page of cups and the knight of cups now what i do oh knight of wands underneath that magician okay five of wands underneath that so i do feel that as you are putting more distance and you're detaching from the situation or person more specifically if you're dealing with a person as you're detaching from this individual and you're putting more space and you're just you're getting your your mojo back and you're feeling much more calmer and empowered and just like back to your own original virgo self um oh well, I, I mean okay because i'm getting a couple ways i can read this so i'm getting like oh god i'm getting like three different four four different scenarios i'm like holy shit hold on spirit which one first y'all want to talk to me about tell me to tell virgo um so the first one that i was like okay mm, is like is there a possibility of this person trying to come back around of course and normally if you have a good heart and you didn't screw this person over normally people who've done us wrong always come crawling back around one way or another most times most freaking times that happens so do i see that's a possibility sure not obviously for all of it all of you virgos not obviously for all of you but for some of you i do see that's a possibility but has that changed have they changed Mm, I honestly feel like with Magician of the Five of Wands, that just is adding back. That's just not, it's not good. It stresses you out. Chaos. Back. Same old shit. I don't think much has changed here, okay? Come and go as they please, Knight of Wands. Showing up here as like Knight Energy, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, and also Page. So some of y'all could be receiving an apology. Eh. Mm. I just think you should probably just steer clear from that. My just my two cents. Another thing that I am seeing and other messages, I, they're gone. So I guess they weren't important. Another thing, another scenario or another way I could read this is like here with the lovers, you will have some sort of choice come up, um, possibly about new relationships that come in because we do it. Oops. We do have Page of Cups, so Page of Cups can represent like a new person coming in to your life here. But this new person that comes into your life, they may kind of remind you of a person from your past, Six of Cups Reverse. Or there's that past lingering energy where you are hesitant to giving your time energy to this new thing because it's just because it's too soon or something like that. Um... And again, we do have Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands. Like, I do feel like there's, if you wanted, right, if you wanted, because ball's in your court and you have your free will as the magician over here, right? Um, we do have a Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. So I do feel like there's possibility for a relationship or someone connecting down the line or somewhere in um, January. But is that something that you want? Well, that's your choice here with the lovers. Um, some of you, you have a choice between past person versus future, new person, future person, past versus new person. So that might be also relating to a choice you'll have to make. But um, yeah, that's just the extra messages I was getting from that. All right. So I think with that being said, Virgo, I've got to leave your reading here. It's getting pretty long. So <laughs> we're just going to wrap shit up. I hope that this was helpful and insightful. If it was, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And yeah, Virgo, thank you for watching. Take care. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And yeah, I hope 2023 treats you well. You deserve it. All right. 
See ya. Bye.